What up y'all, welcome to the first video on this channel. In this series we're going to be recreating some of the most popular mods on Hogwarts Legacy using the new Hogwarts Legacy Creator Kit. For this first mod we're going to be recreating the No Spell Cooldown mod by S Gold WB. This mod removes the cooldown for all of the player's spells, allowing the player to cast spells continuously without a cooldown in between. And with that, let's get started. Before we get started, huge shout out to S Gold WB for creating this no spell cooldown mod. It was a ton of fun to play, and if you haven't tried it yet, I would definitely recommend it. So to create the no spell cooldown mod, first we're gonna start by creating an empty mod. An empty mod is gonna be a mod that has nothing inside it when it's created, as opposed to a quest mod or a dungeon mod that has pre-built assets inside when you create the mod. Then we'll be opening the DB static text entry table. This is gonna be a list of text entries that define pretty much everything in the game. So if you're making a new item, a new broom, a new NPC, odds are you're going to start in the DB static text entry table. Then we're going to focus on the spell definition DB table. This is going to give us all the different factors of spells that will allow us to change the damage, the range, and in our case, the cooldown length. Then, after we set all of those cooldowns to zero, we'll practice uploading our mod to CurseForge to finish out the video. To create a new empty mod, we're going to select this Create Mod button up at the top, and this will bring up the three mod templates. It'll give you the option to create a new empty mod, a new dungeon mod, or a new quest mod. We want a mod that has nothing inside it. We'll click the New Empty Mod. Then we'll come down here to give our mod a name. We're going to call it No Spell Cooldown. Important things to note, this is going to be the name of your mod plugin. So this is going to be how it's referenced in the Creator Kit. You'll have a chance to rename your mod when you upload it to show how you want it to look in-game. Since this is a bot plugin name, we want to make sure we have no spaces or we'll get an error and be unable to create your mod. And I want to also make sure you don't have any plugin that shares the same name or you'll also run into a similar issue. Once those are fixed, we can select this Create Mod button down at the bottom, and this will bring you to your Mods folder. After you create your mod, you'll be redirected to your Mods Content folder. Since we made an empty mod, we currently have nothing inside it. To build our mod, we're going to use the DB Static Text Entry table. So to find that, we'll select this Window button, we'll scroll down to DB Text Entry, and select Static. This is going to bring up a list of all of the static tables, which basically provide all the values for what we see in game. So if you want to create a new item, you can set how much that item would sell for. If you want to create a new NPC, you can set what NPC's house, their name, everything in here. So we want the spells, definitions, static table. So we'll search spell and select spell definition. This will give us the value of all of the spells in game. So if we check up on top, blip spell type ID, Accio, range, and cooldown time, which as you can guess, we're going to set to zero. And then we'll hit enter and close out of this. Before we go into DB static text tables, we must first consult our sacred text. This wizard forge bible is going to be a list of rules and mistakes that I made so you don't have to. The first one, thou shalt always check what mod you have selected before you open the DB static text table. That's important because only mod that's currently selected will be affected by the changes you make in the DB static text table. And going into the second one, thou shalt make sure that no text entries or assets from other mod folders are included or referenced. That's important because only mods that are in the current mod folder will be present in game. So if you're trying to reference something from another mod, it won't be there causing your mod not to work correctly. The spell definition static table has a ton of different options that you can change. I'll be going over what I think are the three most important. First up, you're going to have your spell type ID. That's going to be the name of the spell that you're currently changing. So up top, we have spell ID, Accio. So any of the changes in line number one will affect the Accio spell. Next, we're going to have cooldown time. This is going to be the time in, I believe, real time seconds that it will take for the spell to recharge after using it in combat. And last, we have the damage character option, which will be how much damage this spell does to other characters. The cool thing I found out about the DB static table is that there's no blueprint or prior coding knowledge required. The creator kit does most of the heavy lifting for you. 
So we opened the spell definition static table, set the cooldown time to zero, we hit enter, and closed out of the static table. Once we did that, the creator kit sends an update to the mod edits SQL folder, and it formats it in SQL form to automatically trigger once your mod is activated. So you can find this mod edit file by going to Hogwarts Legacy Creator Kit, Phoenix Game, Mod, Mod Names, and Content. Then if you open that file, you can see the changes you are making in your mod. So this first line, we're updating the spell definition static table by setting the cooldown time to zero. And I'll ask what spell you want to change, which will be where spell ID, which is going to be Accio and Accio Upgrade. And then that's it. So all we need to do is go back to the spell definitions table, set the rest of the cooldowns to zero, and we'll see this update automatically. Now to complete our mod, we'll start by checking commandment number one by clicking set mod and making sure no spell cooldown is selected. You can also check this by opening up the DB static text entries and it will show you the currently selected mod here. Then we'll open our spell definition and we'll set all of the cooldowns for the combat spells to zero. I did this off camera to save time, but all you need to do is set this to zero and hit enter for all of the combat spells. So Accio, Crucio, Depulso, Defendo, all those spells set the cooldown to zero. An important thing to note, the spell Bombarda in the Creator Kit is actually Expulso. Looks like it changed sometime, but if you want to edit the Bombarda spell, it will be Expulso here. Then after you close out of this, and then you open your mod edit file, you will see all of these changes for all of the spells. I set the cooldown time to zero. That's it. All we need to do now is package our mod and upload it. Before we upload our mod, let's test it and make sure it's working as intended. So for this test, I made a quick level with some nav mesh and a dynamic object volume to spawn a couple trolls. So we'll hit play to enter our level. We'll practice this out. Right now we have our four spells selected, so we'll practice Descendo, Depulso, Accio, Lupendo. Make sure there's no cooldowns on those. Then I'll come up to our control spells, add these to our diamond, and we'll practice a transfer. Oh, we'll practice transformation, Glacius, Levioso, and Arrest of Momentum. We have cooldown on those. And let's come over to our damage spells. Making sure there's no cooldowns on those. Last but not least, we'll do Incendio and our Dark Art spells to end it out. So Incendio's good. Avada's good. Crucio's good. And Imperio is good. All right, now that we've verified that, all we have to do is upload our mod and we'll be done. To upload our mod, we're gonna select this upload mod menu up at the top to bring up our mod upload window. Here at the top, we'll select the mod we want. So we want the no spell cooldown mod. And here in the mod name, we can change it to look how we want to in game. So mod name, we're gonna want no space, spell, space, and cooldown. Then we'll upload our mod image. This will be the image that displays when you're scrolling through the mod menu. So for this, you want to make sure you have an image of at least 400 by 400 and a one by one. So a square image that's less than five megabytes. Next, we'll put our category. So select category, we'll have an option. We'll put in gameplay. Mod summary, we'll put removes spell cooldown. Now in the mod description, you just have to make sure that it's longer than the summary. So we'll call it removes spell cooldown for all of the players spells. And there we go. Once you finish that, full screen it so we can see it, we'll hit this upload button. it uploads, goes through everything. Oh, 
already exists. Makes sense. So since this mod already exists, we can't make our mod with the same name. So we'll change this to Wizard Forge Mods. And then when we upload it, it should go through with no issues. Thanks for watching and congrats on making your No Spells Cooldown mod. That's going to be it for this video. If you found it helpful, please like and subscribe, and let me know in the comments if there's any other videos you'd like to see. Wizard Forge Mods, out.